Yo, what's up, YouTube? James Beck here, and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2020 Effect Effect Battles. Today is the last time we're going to be using this Gallade coaching team with Gallade, Azumarill, Marowak, Amoongus, Hydreigon, and Luxray. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, highly recommend go check them out as always. And yeah, if you do want to use this team alongside me, there is a rental code down below in the description, as well as a pay spin. The rental code will expire in two weeks, though, so make sure you grab what you can. And if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below as it really does help out my channel. You could also check out my second YouTube channel as well as my Twitch channel, also linked in the description down below for some more VGC and non-VGC related content if you're interested. That's going to be it though. Let's get started with today's episode. So today's common question is going to be if you had one superpower, one esper power that you could have, what would it be? And for me, it's interesting. You could have the ability to fly. You could have the ability to teleport, all those things, turn invisible, all that. For me, I think it'd be vector control. If you do, if you're anyone who has watched um, a certain magical index or a certain scientific railgun or a certain scientific accelerator because they have that one too. Uh, it is pretty interesting. I think vector control just gives you so many opportunities because <laughs> it gives you so much, I think, control. Vector control would be such a cool power. But yeah, let me know yours in the comments down below. We got Porygon Z, Sableye, Urshifu, Dracovish, the Sylveon, and Farifurn. So this is a very, very scary team. I mean, very scary. Hmm. I like Galate Amoongus a lot, and I like the Azumarill, and I think Marowak in the back. Marowak's going to be really good in this game. I got to be worried about Porygon Z, though, because Taunt is kind of uh, difficult to handle. Trick is also going to be annoying if it is Trick on the Sableye. Sylveon's also really annoying. This looks like... Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, this reminds me... It's only two Pokemon related, but... For some reason, it reminds me of my, like, Marco Fierro's uh, internet team from Oceana back in Series 2 with the Dracovish Sylveon. And it looks like like really hyper-offensive kind of style team. Uh, you had the Prankster Mon Sableye, which used to be the Whimsicott, and then you got the Hard Hitter, which was the Duraludon, but it's the Porygon now. And uh, Archie reminds me of the Conkat. I don't know why. It's just like... It just popped in my head but we'll see what my opponent decides to bring here if it's going to be sableye plus Porygon, which i think yeah so it probably is taunt on the sableye or maybe it has a fake out Fake out would be annoying i'm gonna go go late i'm gonna go marowak though marowak seems very safe here and a protect or spore I don't know if you have fake out or not. That's the question. If you have fake out, um, I want to protect. I want to protect. I don't think you max darkness here. I can see taunt. That's why I want to protect here because if they if they taunt my moon, it's still a little bit annoying. Let's see. But I could also see fake out from the save lie if they lead this and trying to go for the strike KO into the Gallade. Like that's another possibility. We do see Dynamax come out here. I feel like I'm definitely at least wasting one of these turns, whether it's going to be the strike into Porygon, which I kind of doubt it's going to be the strike from Porygon immediately, but we'll see. I guess I could fake out the late and go for the strike into the Amoongus, but I'm not sure. All right, protect Amoongus. It's just fake out. Okay, so I did call it right. All right, that's cool. And attack into... Yep, all right. So I did get that play right, so that's amazing for me. I wonder if Flare actually knocks out the Urshifu at this range. It might be good to go for it here. I'd also try to get rid of the Sableye here with like Max, uh, with anything really. They have to double up my Moongus if they want to knock out. Uh, they could trick here if they have trick. Um, but they would trick my Sash. So yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go for the Max Flare into the Porygon and I'm going to follow him and I'm going to Rage Powder. It covers a trick play from the Sableye if it does have it. Because I do want my attack stat up at least for dealing with the Porygon. This Porygon is a really hard to handle potentially. I'm just hoping that like if I don't knock out the Porygon. I'm hoping that it puts in the range of Aqua Jet after Life Orb. So let's see. We bring out the Marowak. I could have also Quaked. Quake might have also been better. But last time we did like a... We had a Porygon situation a few games ago. So that's why I want to go for Flare here. Because like it might knock out after like a Life Orb hit. They do trick. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling. So I don't have my eject 
I don't have my focus ash anymore, but that's fine. They didn't get my fake club, which is important. Max strike gonna come out. Gonna knock out my Amoongus, which is fine. I'm hoping Flare knocks out. I'm really hoping Flare and Aqua Jet at least. Let's see. Should be Life Orb. Yep. And Flare gonna come out. So that means Draco Vicious weakened. Ah, that's like no way. Yeah, that's nowhere near enough. Wanna go with Zoomerl, I think. Alright, who's the back Pokemon I gotta worry about? Okay, I'm gonna go with Zoomerl anyway. Hmm. I don't think Aqua Jet knocks it out. Shame. Um... I'm gonna go for the Quake into the Porygon and I gotta switch out. I'm gonna go Gallade. Yeah, I gotta go Gallade. I wish I had Protect on the Gallade now, but Taunt has been useful in some games. Oh well. Go Gallade here. Gotta suck it off to the Strike. The ally switch here? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, they were worried about Aqua Jet, but I don't think Aqua Jet KO'd at that range. Maybe it did, who knows? The light goes down, okay. I don't know, maybe this game's winnable. It depends it depends heavily on who they have in the back. I don't think Aqua Jack Hills a PC though. That's a problem. Oh, and I did like no damage to the Sableye. Now they can trick my thing. Okay, I'm gonna go with Azumaro and I'm just gonna Aqua Jet. I gotta go for like a last ditch Aqua Jet, I think. But here's the thing. I think I'm losing a zoom. Oh, wait. Dynamax is over. Oh, wait. That's big. So now I got to predict the ally switch. Yeah, so Aqua just should KO at that range. Now it's just like ally switch prediction. They don't normally Aqua Jet twice. And since I switched out, they might be like warranted. So, you know, what? I'm going to Aqua Jet anyway. The problem is the back Pokemon are going to be really tough to handle. They're going to be really tough to handle. So... Yeah, this PC matchup got really tough. Because, like, if it's Urshifu Ferrothorn in the back, I'm screwed. Okay, no ally switch. That's a good start. Okay, we knock out PZ. That's huge. They trade the Fit Club for Focus Ash. Actually, the Focus Ash could help me. That's the funny part. Focus Ash could actually help me. Wait, gonna come out. Max out the save lie. Okay, so I got the best possible turn there. Yeah, I did get the best possible turn. So even though they took my fit club, like, I don't know if like the damage was absolutely necessary with the marrow. I can focus that's just gonna be helpful. If they have Urshifu fair front in the back. If they have Urshifu fair front in the back, the sash, giving me the sash might actually screw them. So they do have Urshifu. Sylveon, okay. I have plus one spadef on oh boy this is gonna be tough i'm gonna protect and i'm gonna play rough and then i'm gonna have to call some mind games so you might be wondering hey why are you protecting he's gonna wake up to protect since i had the focus ash they gave me um i make hyper voice a spread move which is really important in this yeah because they gave me the sash and marowak won't outspeed the sylveon anyway Okay, Hyper Force. I was just uh, solve this. The Zoomer ate that up. Oh, it's Drow Spray though. Okay, that's tough. I'm gonna play rough. Okay. I just don't know if you protect or Shifu or not this turn. Or this upcoming turn. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna go for the double Marak. It is my best play. I think I'm going to play rough to Sylveon because they could protect the Urshifu expecting Aqua Jet. Yes. Okay. I'm getting the reads right. I'm getting the reads right. If we get the double, that's amazing here too. Oh, for making the right read. For making the right read, we are able to get a good one. All right. So that's perfect. 
All right, so they tried to scout for the aqua jet because they got it by turns. Okay, play rough. I do hit. Good. Uh. -huh. The problem is okay. The sun's gone, which is really good here because now I can liquidation and not worry. The question is, what are they doing? Are they protecting Sylveon? Are they going to go on the offense? Because my play, I could Aqua Jet the Urshifu right here, but they could Sucker Punch one of these. Sucker Punch the Azumarill, I think, and, Au and Hyper Voice. I think I got a Liquidation to Sylveon. Let's see if they protect or not. Okay, they don't protect Sylveon. That's probably best case scenario. They do Sucker Punch the Azumarill. Oh, that does too much, I think. But I mean... Ah, oh, that does too much. I had this so close. I had this so close. Dang, Sucker Punch. I would need a triple in order to win that, but I did probably play that to the best of my ability. I'm gonna awkward to Urshifu. But they're just gonna sucker. And that was a close one, though. Uh, where did it go wrong? I guess it was just like not being able to knock on the Porygon Z. I guess that's like the downfall because I didn't have max special, uh, max physical attack. I mean, I used to, but now I have a lot of speed death, which kind of came to bite me in the back. Not going to lie, because if we had it, we were in a pretty good spot. But yeah, um, yeah, being able to, the turns didn't exactly pay out too much. And dealing with Porygon Z was just like really hard. Like, the problem was the Sableye was disrupting me so much. The ally switch didn't really change anything. But, like, being able, for instance, having the support Pokemon next to it, it and being able to knock out my Amoongus, I think that was a big turn. Just, like, being able to get rid of my thing. Like, I knew it was coming, but it was, like, really hard. Ooh. <laughs> Clefable, Salazzle, Exeggutor, Lolan form, the Dusclops, Cobalion, and Rotom Wash. All right, so let's beat up. That's the Lazo. I'd have safety goggles, actually. Um, honestly, just getting up the coaching stuff sounds really good here. Yeah, I think coaching stuff is really good in this game. Yeah, it's super solid. Not much else to say. Um, the Amoongus is really good here because it's able to spore most of the things. Unless it's like safety goggles on one of the Pokemon specifically. If it's safety goggles on the Cabalion, that's going to be... Annoying if it's Lumberry, especially too. Actually, Goggles Cobalion would be the worst, probably, like, scenario, I think. And then you got Safety Goggles on Clef, which could redirect, but Sludge Bomb's gonna hurt it a lot. Exactor is interesting. I know it gets Fire Move, and of course, it's a Dragon type, so it can hit Draco Meteor. I also gotta watch out for Wood Hammer, because I know that thing gets Wood Hammer and it hits hard. Um. But yeah, I'm wondering how slow the Exeggutor is, because, like, the team seems like two really fast Pokemon in Cobalion plus Salazzle. The Rotom Wash is kind of a mid-tier speed, so I don't know wh it, where it's going to be invested. And then you got the uh, pretty much a slow Pokemon, the support Pokemon. Uh, and then the Executor, which is like slow, probably offensive. So this is going to be interesting. This last game, hopefully we'll be able to uh, finish this team off with a win, but we'll see. We're going to see the Clefable Dusclops lead. Interesting. I got Spore here, but I'd rather just Sludge Bomb personally and Taunt. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather just Sludge Bomb Taunt right here into, like, the Clef. If it is Safety Goggles. So we'll see what they go for. I'm not exactly too sure, like, what this lead is supposed to entitle. I could have also went Marowak here, but I'm worried about taking too much damage from Nightshade. I don't need Coaching to win here specifically. Yeah, because, like, I can do a lot of uh, offensive pressure. I just got to watch about the Rotom. I was going to retreat. Okay, that's perfect. Zegator. Interesting. Zegator is brought. I'm going to taunt a Clef so it can't sing, gravity, minimize, whatever it wants to do. Moonblast is okay. It's not the best scenario, but it's definitely not the worst. Okay. The Galadia will survive that. We are going to be able to get a Sludge Bomb off into the Clefable. For really good damage. And the Poison. But is it Magic Guard or is it Unaware? It's Magic Guard. Okay. I 
I can't tell if this is Trick Room or not. I kind of actually just want to go Marowak here because I think at the worst case, he would Moonblast the Galate slot. And Marowak would be able to eat it, so... Or Marowak would be able to eat it. And I could Coaching with Galate because all his Pokemon are really slow at this point. Although I don't remember... That's the thing about a little Executor. I don't remember what his base speed is. I feel like it's 45 or... Is it 30? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen a lonely Executor. Um, it's actually funny though, because I drafted a lonely Executor for the WBE because of its typing. But I actually didn't look up its stats or its speed stat specifically. If I'm going to retreat, Dustclop's going to come in. Okay. It's not bad for me though. Uh, let's see what they're going for with Executor though. Planter. Okay, that's not too bad. That's going to hurt. Oh, not that much actually. The sludge bomb the dust claps because I was trying to catch the um clef, but this is fine. I'm gonna retreat Amoongus because Amoongus's uh regenerator is useful, so I'm gonna shadow bone the dust claps and I'm gonna go into my switch here, which is going to be my I can never remember the name. The Gallade as a sack. Like, I don't need coaching to win this game, as I said before. And having the ability to, like, get the regenerator is nice. I'm gonna retreat Clops. Did they have a switch or is Clefable being sacked here? Okay, so it's basically, we had the same idea. We're sacking our support mon that got weakened earlier. We're faster than the, um... Okay, we're faster than the Executor, which is actually huge. Because being faster than the Executor means that... Alright, being faster than Executor means that Azuma is faster than Executor, which is huge. So we'll go our Azumaro here. It's Rotom though. I'm a bit scared because I think it has to be Rotom. Because Kobalion doesn't make sense to me or Salazzle. Yeah, it has to be Rotom. Okay. I think I go for Starfall. Try to knock out the Executor. And I think I go... Um, I think I always go Amoongus because they're not going to Lightning. They're going to go for a Geyser, if anything. Unless they have Wisp. <laughs> Please don't be will -O Rotom. It could be. If it's will -O Rotom, I got to dodge one with uh, Sumo. Maybe I don't have to dodge, per se, but it'd be really tough. Nasty Pot on Rotom could also be really scary in this position. There's so many scary potential points here. Oh, they're going to retreat Executor, so they're going to go Dust Claps. All right. Hmm. They did Dynamax for them, though. So at least um, they're not going for Nasty Plot here, because Nasty Plot would have been the worst case. All right, that's not too bad. Especially is what I do want to do afterward. Let's see how much the Geyser does. Let's see how much the Geyser does. So, I should have Starfalled the Rotom, but I was really getting worried about Woodhammer potential. I know he was probably full special, but like there was a chance, and it was a chance. Like, it's like the Flamethrower didn't do much from the Executor. I thought it would do more. Bring out the Dynamax Azuma. We are, um. We are Assault Vest. We'll take hits. They do go for guys or like they have to, I think. Goes into Amoongus, 156 to 92, so that is 60. That's playing with uh, dangerous waters right now for us, though. The so Starfall comes out into the Dust Clops. That's a 2 KO, which is actually really good. I think I want a Starfall Spore. I think I want to risk it. Yeah, I want to risk it, I think. Because I think I should live Geyser if it's the same role. I could also switch out Amoongus, though. Into Marowak. But you know what? I'll, I'll risk it. I'm going to spore the Dusclops slot because, like, they could ally switch. They Geyser, yep, they're trying to cover for the switch. Also, like, they're trying to knock out the Amoongus. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, no. That's very bad. Okay. So I knock out Klops, knock out Amoongus. It's kind of funny because this game's been very back and forth with like our KOs. Because our bulky waters are picking up the KOs on each other. I should have switched out though. I was a bit too greedy there. Like I was thinking maybe I could protect Marowak. Or like, yeah, stall it out. 
Like a spore would have been so good for us. Xavier Tower gonna come out. Are we gonna see the double protects? <laughs> Are we gonna see double protects as we max move and don't KO each other? Very likely. Oh, they don't. Okay. Oh, uh, please don't tell me they're Sash or Roselli. We should live pretty well, actually. No way. They are Roselli. Please tell me this chaos. I don't think it does. They probably have investment. Oh, they do live, which means they get a hit off, which is really bad. Leaf Storm. Oh, that didn't do much at all. Can I go for the miss is the question or do I just go for a double protect? A double protect might be fine. Oh, why were they Roselli parrying Segitor? Uh, I'm going to play with the road on my thing and I'm actually going to go for the double because like either I get the double or they miss Hydro and I think that's the win con and I do get the double which is really good. Okay. A hydro pump okay they're also minus two of executor and i still have an assault vest but i don't know if i 2k wrote them if it has citrus uh this is really bad maybe a miss no holy cow why did that do more oh uh, I, I thought that was like citrus and like <laughs> my oh no i can't even aqua jet knock it out this range so they could hydro pump well they have to hydro pump anyway we go for the triple all right we go for the dodge now yep. oh roselli berry alolan executor the one thing that could have probably won my opponent the game unless it was sash executor i guess actually i should have went for play rough crit into like a dodge from the executor yeah how that i think about it unless for some reason they don't have an accurate electric type move But that is going to be a crying shame because I think we're going 0-2 in this. Yep, Thunderbolt. Oh, what went wrong? I guess like the one turn. Yeah, Saki Amoongus was terrible. Saki Amoongus was really bad. I mean, I think I could have won this game with uh, the Citrus Berry too. Citrus Berry on the Rotom was kind of rough too. Yeah, it's just like my opponent basically had the sets that like countered. Oh, it was life or huh? That's why I did so much. Sludgeway beat up Roselli Berry. It just happened to have the Roselli. <laughs> Anytime. Uh Violet, the Sclubs, Taunt. Salt this Cabalion and Nasty Plot Rotom. This was just a bane. <laughs> the Roselli Berry. <laughs> like, how was I supposed to expect that? How was I supposed to expect that? Like, I thought Sash was going to be on the Salaza, which it was. So I thought, okay, like, I knock out the Executor there. Like, if I am able to get the Starfall and knock out the Executor, I think I do win by clicking, like, Play Rough twice into Aqua Jet knocking out, I think, the Rotom. The Roselli Berry. <laughs> Not much I can say about that, but we did try. I think the team had a good run too, for the most part. I don't remember how many losses we had on the series. I think it was three to four. I think. But overall, very, uh, very fun team. I think it does have some flaws though. It is kind of slow. And again, the mode is kind of predictable. And again, if you can't get the coaching situation right and you run out of trick room turns, it's really hard to reset trick room basically. And all the mods are slow. So that is one of the concerns of the team, but still really fun. I really like trying out some of the mods. Luxray actually kind of impressed me throughout this. Um, we didn't get to use Hydreigon as much, but I think Hydreigon could be used on like other teams uh, to more potential. 
and like Azumo really did some work and Galay was able to lift some hits which was nice but I did hope everyone enjoyed today's episode if you did enjoy it please leave a like down below it shows his support as well as you can leave a comment down below as it helps me out immensely if you would like to check out more content from me you can go check out my second YouTube channel and my Twitch channel linked in the description down below for more VGC and non VGC related content as well if you would like to go an extra mile to support my content there is a Prime Gaming thing you can get if you have Amazon Prime you get a free Prime Gaming which means you get a free Twitch sub to any stream of your choice it could be me it could be to anyone else but you could get free benefits so might as well use it you get it once per month so why not use it it is currently during the month of september that twitch is doing a September thing so you actually get discounts on subs on any tier to any streamer so if you're interested you can go check that out but free ways to support me again it really helps me out just by leaving a like down below leave a comment down below and share this video with friends are all great ways to support me for free and just by watching you're helping me out immensely so thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy today's episode you can go check out the community discord link in the description down below where you can chat with me and a bunch of others in the community about vgc and other stuff like games anime in general and food you can also check out the team again listed down below in the description for the rental code as well as the pay spin two weeks to grab the rental team however from the date that this video is going up so I highly recommend you grab it while you have the chance. That's going to be it though. Next time we'll be using a brand new team. But have a great day people. And until we battle again. I'll catch y'all later.